All right, I'm at the house again. Hopefully got the right kit here. Finished putting the toilet together so we can use the upstairs bathroom. You know, not gonna be step by step, but it'll be enough to give you an idea on how hard or easy this is to put in. Uh, I think the hard part was definitely getting the old rings and stuff out of the toilet, especially since I didn't have the right tools and uh, I decided just to hack the crap out of it. You can see some of it in there. So here we go. Because I always have the right tools with me. Just remembered I was supposed to send it back in the same box, the uh, two inch unit. So there we go. So three inch. Uh, what I had the first time, sent it back, got a two inch, found out the two inch isn't going to fit. I have to send the two inch back in the box, but I have the three inch now. So, there we go. There we go. time the tank I have now that I've mounted this in here the bolts don't go through the tank itself it had this thing attached to it I don't know if this is gonna work now Because I don't know if this will mount to here. If these two things will mount tight enough with this setup. So we shall find out. So, see this thing? Pops out. Whole unit kind of. Turns if I can do it without dropping it, and then it extends so you can set the height once it's in the tub or the tank. Uh, you're supposed to do it ahead of time, I was supposed to mark the toilet. I did not do that, ha! Huh. So I'm gonna guess about halfway, and then this red thing just slides back in there to make sure that you once it's locked. There we go. In the right spot. Yeah. So now it can't turn. Just blocks it from twisting. It's not a big deal. I hate this toilet seat. This toilet seat's coming out. So that's why I'm going to use it as a bouncing board for everything. Sorry, I'm just checking things out, screwing around with it. Uh, spinning this, adjust this, so that it fills the tank how much or little, depending. So just kind of getting a feel for where it's gonna sit in the toilet once it's time. It doesn't look too bad to me. Don't want to over tighten this, just want it enough so it's snug and that the water doesn't leak out. Here's my locking nut. I'm hoping that this pinched with that metal piece will be enough to hold it all together. Locking nut washer, so it's going to be on the outside too. Now the illustration doesn't show this part attached, 
I'm having trouble unattaching it, so I'm probably just missing the slot where it actually pops out of. You know, or it doesn't come out in just the illustration showing it uh, like that. You know, I'm going to want these to be accessible at some point, I'm sure. So, I'm just going to kind of turn it so it makes sense. No, oh, it does come apart. All right. If, if I ever read instructions completely, I would probably get things right the first time. Uh, but I kind of like to see how intuitive it is, if I can put it together on my own, or if I absolutely need to read the instructions sometimes. So I'll half-ass read them and see where it takes me. In this case, uh, reading the instructions is kind of important. So, moving on. It's confusing me because the instruction just saying black washer and there isn't a black washer that it, that came apart. It's a, uh, a white washer, so I'm going to assume they just didn't update that part of it. Should I have hired a plumber? Nah. Because what's the worst case? I just buy another toilet. So I'm gonna give me this thing. So I'm gonna need this to mount the toilet back in position anyway. And that goes through. This point I'm not overly optimistic that this product is going to work in my toilet because if I'm not centered I'm not going to have a good seal and it doesn't taper where I'm at and I can physically move this around so hmm I can't tell. I'm either going to make a big mess or it's going to be okay. Giant rubber washer now. Go back on there. Alright. Mm -hmm. See, and then these bolts are going to be interesting because they don't match either because it goes in from there. So I'm probably going to use the old bolts that were on the tank before since the tank itself doesn't have the holes I'm not going to worry too much that they're not holding properly sorry smarter flush and I gotta take it back off because the way it sits I gotta put the nuts in there first It's a weird contraption, not a fan. Instructions also said to put this back in, and I did not do that. So, oh, that was easy. Locks in faster than it comes out, so we'll see that in a second. Using the old washers and nuts again, just because they worked. And like I said they have, the way this toilet works, it's no bearing on on the uh, the seal whatsoever. There, some toilets have 
the bolts come straight into the tank and that would make sense to use the bolts supplied by Smarter Flush. There's some heavy duty stainless steel it looks like and uh, some good rubber washers. Uh, the way they explained it to me, bolts should last you a hundred years. So your grandkids would be maybe dealing with the uh, with the bolts, but not likely. It's a little dirtier in here. Uh, our guy, it looks like he painted the ceiling, pulled down the exhaust vent, which you can kind of see right here. It's a nasty, dusty mess. Uh, I'll clean that, or Andrea will clean that at some point. But that's why there's a bunch of extra dust around. Looks like they had, uh, oh, I just hit my head on that. Looks like they had a uh, shower door because there's some adhesive on the tub that'll have to come off. Yeah. God forbid, I don't need the shower tub. And I don't have the wrench I need. I'm gonna have to go downstairs, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Uh, last time, if I remember correctly, it was these darn 13 millimeters to take the bolts off. So that's what I'm going to use to put them back on. Pretty solid. Next step. Hey, right, let's put the handle on. So the big trick with these is to not let it kink. This cord needs to be relatively smooth. That'll work. Uh, give you an extra washer just in case. Can you even see that part? Kind of, I guess. All right. This thing, piece of cake, push that down, pop for it on. There it goes. You can hear it lifting. Is that gonna clear the top? That won't. That should. Hmm. Should reattach this. Put the kind of white hose on. A little kink here, just gonna pop that out. And You never throw things away kids until you're done done because there was pieces missing uh, not missing but they were still in the box all right so the normal way you would clip this onto here so now it's a little small to see that's the normal way to go I'm not using that they give you this water conservation thing so you put it at what level you want in the overflow I'm going to use that instead. Stick it halfway. Let's see if this thing leaks. Now I'm not worried about their unit leaking. I'm more worried that I screwed up and the uh, the seal's not done correctly. That would be my fault. So I'm going to let this tank fill up and see where it stands. So far, so good. Um, I don't see any rush of water coming out the bottom. Head's itchy, sorry. Uh, holy shoot, it worked. Uh, looks like I could probably lower this 
so it shuts off sooner. All right, let's well, start. Let's flush the toilet. See what happens. Bye bye toilet. Because you don't want the water going over the top of the overflow preventer. It kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, at least I think. You know, a plumber I am not, but that seemed to work. So the positioning, I guess, was good. So if I do an up flush, that drains most of the tank. Oh, listen to it fall. It's gonna make me have to pee is what it's gonna do. All right, so I showed you there were some red levers, some a blue switch. Those are to adjust the strength of the flush. Um, according to this, raise the blue one up. Uh, right? No, I'm sorry. Uh, every time you lower the blue, it uses a little more water. And to adjust the full flush volume by raising the red float to the top and perform a flush. Uh, raising it all the way up uses less water to flush. And so I'm going to start. I'm going to find these things in here now. Let's slide that sucker all the way to the top. And I'm going to slide the blue thing all the way down, which it is. So that's good, I think. Ooh, that's cold water. Holy shit. And then I don't remember. Is it up is one or down is two? Let's see here. All right. Down is a half flush, up is a full flush. So does that still pertain no matter which way I spin this thing? I'm gonna assume it is, so I'm gonna do an up flush. I wanna see what a half flush looks like. Alright. So that left about uh I don't know, what is that? Two, three inches of water in the bottom of the tank. But it went pretty fast. And that's not overly filling fast, good or bad. So half flush. So if I want more water in the t in the bowl, is that the blue or the red? Let me see what a full flush looks like. Let me get this thing upside down. All right, I think I need more water is what it is. So, I'm bringing the blue thing all the way up. I want to see a, a stark comparison. And where's the red one? There's the red one. I'm going to put the red one all the way down. Holy shit, this water is cold. Whew! Uh, why isn't my down flush doing anything? There we go. Down is a half. So the theory is that even if a half... So, oh, I went to the potty and I dropped the toilet in. Why am I having to do that? Alright, I think this was better the way I had it before. Let me figure this out. Let me get it to a point where it uses the most supposed to. I think that's where I screwed up. I adjusted the blue thing. I'm going to stick that all the way back down. Let me just get this thing to empty from in here. So I get a fresh start. God, that's really cold water. And it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing in the tank, especially with this thing in the way. Oh, that's nasty. Sorry, I'm not moving that. That's gross.
Now I don't have the finesse that I probably should be using and my client or smarter flush guys are going to probably be a little mad at me. But right now I've got it so that the, the blue uses, it lets as much water in and the, the red's letting as much water in. I'm going to do a full flush just to clean the system out. Try this again. I'm really getting tired of sticking my hand in that cold water. Now, I should sit here and tweak it until I get like the perfect mix, but I'm too lazy. I'm gonna assume most people are. Uh, so I am going to leave it at the most water in the tank, most water being used to flush. Here's a half flush. That's supposed to be for peeing and uh, just liquid uh, when you have to go potty. Granted, I did this because I, I was trying to keep the water from that was leaking in the previous uh, toilet set up. And I'm probably wasting, I don't know, 20 gallons screwing around with this. But it's fun. So now I'm going to do a full flush. Lift it up. Whoa, look at that sucker go! Alright. It's been fun. I'm done playing for now. Uh, I'm going to clean up a little bit, put the cap back on this thing. Hope like heck it's not leaking at the seal because of something I did. And uh, I'm going to go on with my day, go home and get some dinner. So thanks for watching, subscribe if you want to, uh, check these guys out, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, it is a good product, I'm just being a clown uh, and not taking the time that I need to. Uh, I don't think this was too bad, what, I probably about 20-25 minutes to do this whole thing uh, while producing the video of it, so uh, awesome. Hopefully my water bill will be a little lower now. And uh, the default down, because that's what most people use, is the half flush. And what I've been told is you half flush once, if it doesn't go down, you half flush again, and it's not really a half. Um, even doing two half flushes to get it out should be enough and use less water than a full flush. So, uh, should I stick the stickers on to show people? Flush it down, flush it up. That's kind of, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm gonna put that up here in the shelf for now. So, all right, thanks for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.